Happy Friday. Let's talk about the super intelligence. With all of this going on with AI, let's see what this book predicts. I bought this book like two years ago and it was highly recommended. And look, it says, I highly recommend this book by Bill Gates. And then in the back, you have like a bunch of professors. And then you have Elon Musk saying, which is really scary. He just put worth reading. And then we need to be super careful with AI, Elon Musk. And, you know, it's scary to know that if Elon Musk is saying that is because it makes sense that we have to be aware of what's going on. So let me tell you today about this book, what I have read, and let's talk about AI. So the book starts with um, like a little short story about the sparrows and the owl. So let me show you that. And then let me show you what the books has in the index. And I'm going to be reading more about it and been sharing uh, here what the books is about because it's a little bit of a dense book and you're going to see why because it goes into everything, economics, history. And I think it's an incredible book, but again, very, very dense. So basically, this is the story. And then after this, I'm going to share um, a previous tutorial that I did on this. And it talks about uh, a couple of sparrows and they're talking and then they have this idea that they say, well, we're all so small and weak. Imagine how easy life would be if we had an owl who could help us build our nest. And then they start talking, yes, and no, then we can use it to look after our elder and our young. And then they start basically talking about, uh, you know, how we can get an owl and train it in order for our life to be easier. Then one of the sparrows is really worried. And then he's like, look, even if you get uh, an owl, right, and train it, or even if you get the egg and then raise the owl and train it, you still have to be aware of the consequences. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now the last paragraph. As Cronklinfield, whatever that name is, a one ice sparrow with a fretful temperament was unconvinced of the wisdom of the endeavor. Quote, he, this will surely be our ongoing, undoing. Should we not give some thought of the art of owl domestication and owl taming first before we bring such a creature into our midst? And Pastus said, Taming an owl sounds like an exceedingly difficult thing to do. It will be difficult enough to find an owl egg. So let us start there. After we have succeeded in raising an owl, then we can think about taking on this other challenge. There is a flaw in the plan and it's squitted, it's crumbfield, but his protests were in vain as the flock had already lifted off to start implementing the directive set out by pastors. Just two of the three sparrows remaining behind. Together, they began to try to work out how owls might be tamed or domesticated. They soon realized that Patos had been right. This was an exceedingly difficult challenge, especially in the absence of an actual owl to practice on. Nevertheless, they pressed on as the best they could, constantly fearing that the flock might return with an owl egg before a solution to the control problem had been found. It is not known how the story ends, but the author dedicates the books to Scrumfield and his followers. Genius. Basically, the analogy of what right now is happening, what's right now happening with AI and, you know, we, we are basically, yes, trying to get the owl to make our lives easier, but we don't know how to time it. That's like the best part. Of, uh, that's basically what this book is about. How... Uh, they say here uh, they they were fearing that they might return to before a solution to the control problem had been found. So the control problem in this book talks about yes, how do we stop AI if it gets out of control? This is what the book is about: past developments and present capabilities. And here they talk about how much faster as, as humankind were getting in, with the technology to do more advances, and that's the scary part of that. The faster we're doing that, it's good, but then you get problems. And then they talk about paths to superintelligence, forms of superintelligence, the kinetics of an intelligent explosion, uh, the safe strategy advantage. So this is pretty, very dense, like I said. But um, I'm going to try to read. I have the goal to read this book uh, during the summer and just watch podcasts and everything that I have to do. But I mean, look how incredibly um, complete is this book.